Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another Friday sit rep. Got some pre-orders and some new releases to go over. But first things first, the first 100 people can save 10% with code MICRO at checkout. Um, and that's because we just launched microbrickbattle.com this past Wednesday, uh, which is totally awesome. That's your one-stop shop for rules, scenarios, instructions, everything having to do with Micro Brick Battle. Uh, and the best part is it's going to be updated almost weekly. I mean, we're going to be trying to have regular content uh, coming out on microbrickbattle.com. So hopefully, whenever you're checking in, there'll be new stuff for you to check out. I know right now we have the quick play rules up there. Our goal is to eventually get all the rules up there. We're going to have more scenarios, more instructions, etc., etc. So stay tuned for that. We're super excited about the development of that website uh, and we're looking forward to see where it goes. Um, also, coming up on Saturday at new, from noon to 2, uh, we'll be joining in a Brick World virtual conference, uh, or virtual convention actually I think is what it is. Uh, so you'll be able to see an interview from Dan, uh, we'll have myself and Landon on there a little bit to, uh, to respond to some fan questions, inquiries. We'll take a little closer look at the Missouri, some of the work that went into that, uh, and just have a good time uh, basically hanging out with, with them and doing their, their virtual con thing. So we're super excited for that, so if you got a little bit of time on Saturday, make sure to check that out. Um, Moving on from there, we're going to have Landon in in just a second to talk about the uh, new figure releases that we have coming out. Uh, but first, let's take a little bit closer look at our new pre-order. All right, Brick Maniacs, there we are. One of three final models by Cody Ocell for Brick Mania. This is the JU-88. Heavily still in its prototype phase. But who doesn't want to take a closer look at this bad boy? First things first though, let's move over to our new release. The World War II Soviet Union Artillery Pack for Micro Brick Battle. These sure are cool. Pretty impressive. I'm gonna fix this one. Cool to see what you can do with such a small scale and still using mostly the Lego system, some brick arms too, etc. This is the third pack I believe we have available now. We have the U.S., the German, and now the Soviet Union. Interested to see what cool scenarios people can come up with on microbrickbattle.com with this bad boy. Make sure to check those out there. And obviously if you build some artillery of your own, feel free to post them because we want to see what they look like. Now back to this beast. There's Nugget laying in the sun. Hi Nugs! So this is the Battle of Britain edition. As a matter of fact, a JU-88 was actually the first aircraft down by the RAF fighters, I believe in October of 39. So some cool history with this thing and an awesome build. You can see there's kind of like that slight dihedral look to the wings. Awesome detail. Some brick built bombs, a couple of brick arms. Very, very sturdy model too. Give it a good old shake. Thing's gonna perfectly stay together. No flaws, some retractable landing gear. Just a cool looking underside in general, to be honest. It will have, I believe, at least two minifigs along with like a plethora of stickers and printed elements, etc. You can see that there's some already on this thing. But it is still a prototype. We just get it as far along as we can for these videos. But there you have it, the JU-88 pre-order available right now on BrickMania.com, along with the World War II Soviet Union artillery pack for Micro Brick Battle, our new release. Both of them save 10% with code MICRO right now. Okay, so there's a little closer look at the JU-88 and also the uh, Soviet Micro Brick Battle artillery. Uh, so now we're going to bring in Landon and take a little bit closer look at the Vietnam era U.S. Navy SEAL as well as the World War I Light Australian Cavalry. All right, starting off, we have the World War I Australian Light Horse Infantry. You've seen this guy before, but now he is updated with this really awesome 3D printed slouch hat uh, designed exclusively, designed and manufactured exclusively here at the Brick Mania headquarters. Heck yeah, that's, that's what we mean when we say next level minifigs right there. That thing looks fantastic. Very cool, very cool. And then of course, it's got that uh, UV printed insignia on the side of the hat there as well. Um, artwork is a return from a couple years back. It, is featuring one of my favorite kind of, it's, it's a bandolier. Um, you don't really see that very often, um, but I think just being cavalry, they, you'd, you'd often see them hanging around the horse's neck too. Um, so it's just kind of a cool piece of equipment that is uh, really iconic to this, uh, this minifigure. 
uh, as well as those riding boots. Um, really, I, I like those riding boots a lot too. It's kind of just uh, just a really sturdy boot, and then there's a leather uh, strap that kind of wraps around it um, once or twice. So um, that was kind of iconic for that uh, minifigure. So. 360 printed head, it looks like. Yes, of the oh, yeah. Strap. Yeah, man, you you, uh, you know it. Uh, 360 <laughs> printed head. I forgot, forgot all about that. It's all good. Uh, 360 printed head, uh, getting a little bit of that hair. We got the, uh, kind of that high fade going on there. Um, some stubbly, freshly sheared, I guess. Uh, and also that helmet strap, or the hat strap, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, to keep that hat on when they are riding. So that kind of connects very nicely to create a nice all over uh, 360 degree printed. Uh, looking minifigure. So, next minifigure, really excited about this guy, is the Vietnam War era, World, uh, Vietnam War era U.S. Navy SEAL. Mm -hmm. um, the standalone edition, stand as opposed alone. to one that is exclusive to the Swift Boat. That's right. So, uh, if you have the Swift Boat and you want to get a few more seals to go with that, uh, this is perfect. Or even, you know, the Swift Boat's awesome. You know, admire from a distance if it's not quite in your uh, your wheelhouse. But this guy, you got to pick him up. Um, oh, it's a must buy for sure. Oh yeah. Um, I, I really love this this the loadout. It's pretty pretty uh, light loadout. They're jumping in rivers, jumping off boats, doing special missions in the middle of the night, sneaking around. Um, these guys were nuts. Um, obviously, the first thing that stood out the first thing that stood out to me is that they were in blue jeans in the combat, which is just <laughs> like not a common thing. Another interesting feature of this uh, minifigure would be the tiger stripe camouflage uh, uniform. Um, one of my favorite favorite camouflage designs, um, and this is kind of a nice example of that. Um, in Vietnam, that was sort of a locally produced uniform. Uh, special forces um, would often get a hold of um, some pieces and, and wear that as part of their uniform. Um, we have the uh, ammo, uh, belt ammo all the way wrapping around, um, going underneath the sides as well. Um, really, really intense looking minifigure here. Um, and on the side, on his leg, you see that is a, I believe it's a Mark 22 pistol. So this mm -hmm. is the Hush Puppy is what they called it. Cool. Silence pistol, it's got this huge can on the end of it. That's like a, got a cap that's waterproof. Uh, another interesting piece of, uh, from history, I guess. With that huge uh, holster that it's, that it's in on the side of it, on the side of his leg, I guess. Um, combat boots, um, what else, what else? Well, let's talk about that exclusive oh, brick yeah, arm. Yeah, yeah, saving the best for last. <laughs> the exclusive, best for last. Exclusive brick arm. I've been begging Will for years to make this. Finally, finally, he uh, he made it. It's the uh, Stoner 63 uh, Brick Arms, uh, designed by designed by Will Chapman himself. Um, this is the yeah, Vietnam Navy SEALs configuration. So more commonly, you'd see them with this big box um, magazine mm -hmm. underneath. Uh, you could also see a drum magazine. You could see a regular stick magazine, top and bottom. It's a crazy weapon. You should read up on that. Super versatile, yeah. Um, no wonder they loved it so much. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really, uh, more reserved for special forces. The Marines would get it, um, but not a super common gun. But you would see the seals uh, with this. So very excited for this really unique piece of history right here. So turning it back over to you. Thanks. So there you have it. Those are your new releases and your new pre-order for this week. That Ju88 looks absolutely awesome. And so do those figures. Uh, those figures will not last long. So if you're watching this, make sure to head over to my or head over, make sure to head over to Brickmania.com as quick as possible uh, because. Uh, those figures are in super limited quantities, so they are expected to sell out very fast on Friday morning. Um, in that same breath, going over the weekend, I know we talked a little bit about the Brickworld Virtual Convention, but we will also be looking to share uh, Micro Brick Battle builds to our main social media accounts uh, in support of the microbrickbattle.com. Uh, so make sure to share whatever you're able to build, uh, your custom builds, the way you like to play Micro Brick Battle. We just want to see how people customize the game. Uh, so just use hashtag Micro Brick Battle on any social media platform. Uh, we'll make sure to pick it up. We want to show off some fan creations. We even have some people here at the office who've been getting into it uh, and sending those along. So make sure to stay tuned to our Instagram and Facebook uh, coming up over this weekend so you can check that stuff out because it looks like it's going to be awesome. Um, remember our Make an Island mock or our, our mock contest uh, closes on November 11th so make sure to keep uh, building for that because those prizes are going to be sweet. Uh, I know people were hoping for a Make an Island update. We're actually very very close to a significant update there uh, so we're going to hold off just a little bit longer until when we show something off it's it's like significantly different than the last time we saw it. So we're, we're excited for that. Stay tuned. We don't want to give away too much uh, before that. Uh, and then finally my last note is that, uh, um, remember that July 4th set coming up right around the corner. It's this next weekend, uh, the 3rd through the 5th, 30% off at all of Brickmania retail stores. So if you haven't planned your trip, trip yet, 
talk to somebody in the area, figure out a way to get uh, a representative or yourself into those stores uh, over that weekend to pick up what you want. Because like I said, all of those retail locations have super exclusive and awesome inventory. So it is definitely worth the trip or worth enlisting a friend uh, to be able to take advantage of those savings combined with that day. So that is everything we have to cover for this Friday sit rep. Thank you very, very much for joining me and we'll see you Monday. Just a little after action report here for you uh, who are willing to stick around after the swipe for this. So Monday, Monday restocks uh, is going to be the return. Well, not, not the official return because they're pre-orders, but it will be the first available uh, of the track link kits. So coming up on Monday, I think we have the half track and the chaffee are going to be available for restock pre-order. So that'll, that'll be the first kits with the Brickmania track links returning. Uh, we're super excited for that. It's going to be a pre-order. So be on the lookout for those coming on Monday. Uh, but hopefully that means that uh, very soon we're going to be getting back into Brickmania track link action. All right. Thanks for watching.